If you were offered $1,000 to snitch on crowds that were gathering of 10 or more, would you do it? <laughs> no. No way. <sighs> okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. On the car ride here, and the only place I go is here, so I can shoot and edit with strong Wi-Fi. I saw two people playing catch. Now, I don't know if they, they played catch before the quarantine, but I feel like they didn't, and I feel like they're just out and about to spite these new like regulations. And I don't like that. I don't like the people who are just out just because people are telling them that they can't be. Um... I passed the park and it was kind of full too. You know what? Now that I think about it, there's a little traffic on the freeway too. I feel like people ain't taking this seriously. Like, like just stay home so we can just knock this out. And then, you know, restaurants will open again. That's that's it. That's, that's really all you got to do. Just chill at home. Like, y'all acting like you can't physically be at home. Like, I get it. You on TikTok. I'm bored. I'm really bored, I'm, I, but I'm at least I'm home. But like some of y'all is just like, I can't be home. Open towel, open the club, open Roscoe's. Like some of y'all acting like it is, you, it, you can't do it. And it's like, fam. So it's a thousand dollars. I say all this to say. Some of y'all are just being smart and I don't like it. So. I don't know, thousand dollars to put some of y'all in place. I would do that just to send a message, cause I it's better than martial law, and then we have to be inside or we going to jail. That would be bad. So I feel like I snitch on a few people, make a few thousand dollars, but at the end of the day, people will learn from their mistakes. <laughs>